Thank you very much for coming out to honor me today. Thank you. But my heart is full of joy. Thank you for celebrating me as you all have come out to celebrate me today. So, will the people around you continue to celebrate you? Uh, today is my birthday and I celebrate life. But as I celebrate life, I also celebrate the welfare and the success of the people of Obodoma. Thank you for ensuring that our community is one that is admired by neighboring communities. Uh, I understand that as much as we try, that we cannot reach perfection. But it's also not wrong if we continue to strive and work towards perfection. I continue to promise to put you people first before myself. I promise to put your needs ahead of mine. In all things, Obodoma comes first to my heart. I understand that we cannot have a perfect community. I understand that we cannot have a perfect situation. But we shall continue to work hand in gloves to ensure that we reach perfection in Obodoma. I shall do my best to continue to reduce the unemployment rate in Obodoma. For those who do not have a job, I will ensure that you are gainfully employed. Uh, for those of you who have your children sent out of school, uh, as a birthday gift, the Royal Home will ensure that you are granted free education. Because I want to live long, I understand the beauty of old age. And I tell you today, my people, that I'm going to take care of the old amongst us. For they shall live long on the land of the living and root the fruits of their labor. Our labor shall not be in vain. Obodoma, our labor shall not be in vain. Obodoma, our labor will not be in vain. Obodoma, Obodoku, our labor will not be in vain. Thank you all so much. I love you, my people. And I continue to love you all. Happy to see you. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too. Uh, okay, so when are we seeing again? You know, I want to take you out and give you a treat. 
rich take me out again to give me this treat. Babe, please, can you just go out after your daily work? You come to the house so we can have a long conversation. You know, it's been long we had conversations like partners. Yes. I know. But I need to take you out and give you a treat. Knowing the fact that you're done with your master degree. Okay? Alice, it's your day. I need to celebrate with you and give you the best, you know? And you know we are saving, right? We are saving for our wedding. So why don't you wait after the whole ceremony uh -huh. and you become a big man? You can buy me the world if that pleases you. <laughs> is that your wish? Yes. That's is that wish. your wish? Yes. Is that what you want? Yes. All right. Your wish is my command. Thank you, my love. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. So I have to be on my way now. Hmm? Get you. I miss you. Fine girl. I missed you too. Fine girl. Fine girl. You're so beautiful. Please make sure you take care of yourself for me. Always. For you. For you. For me. For you. Yes. And no one else. My good people of Obodoma, today is a very special day in the history of this great land, Obodoma Kingdom. As now I can again, I'm An anticipated battle does not consume the cripple. As I can again, I'm going to die. The breadfruit falls at its appropriate time. And at this point, our king, the white lion himself, we do the cutting of his birthday cake. We call him Chukwu Kabiyama to guide our king, the white lion himself. And we are saying, may the blessings, may the protection, May the guidance of Chukwu Kabiyama be with him, upon him, and guide him out through. Yeah! Chukwu Kabiyama, we give you thanks for all the things you've been doing for us, for giving this great town a great king, such as Igwe Kemba. And we pray his head as he commemorates his natal day. That the blessings, guidance, protection will always be his and now forever. He so he remains a good king which has always been. He and may we keep enjoying the good rulership. So that our children's children we keep reflecting, manifesting the goodness of Kuchuku Okabe Amai. And we pray for all this in the name of Kuchuku Okabe Amai. But I'm a Kwenu! Kwenu! Where's Kwenu? The white lion himself. Who am I saying? Zara, is this you? <laughs> oh my friend! <gasps> Zara, look at you! Look at you! You're looking all city like. Oh, I'm looking, do you look at me? I'm looking very skinny. Oh, my friend. How have you so been? Okay. When did you come back? Just um, a few hours ago. Uh, and you didn't come to the palace? I, I went there earlier on and it was so filled up, there was lots to eat, lots to drink. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are having fun in this village. Oh. Trust me, Igwe Kemba's birthday was a blast. I can imagine. The enjoyment was so much. <laughs> but don't worry, when your parents come back, they will just see you. Let's go. See, just go and get all you came back with. Let's just go in. Let's go and get what you came back with. I did not come back with anything. Don't try me. I came back don't with myself. Try me. Oh, 
Kemba has just proven it that he is the richest philanthropist and king of our time. Exactly. <laughs> this is pure love flowing from a very, very good heart. You can't be more correct than this. Eh? My greatest joy is yeah. his increment on our monthly allowance. Oh! Hey, <laughs> I cannot wait to get home and break the news to my wife. Don't be surprised if your wife increases her monthly upkeep. <laughs> Listen, it will be very stupid of me to get back home and announce it to my wife. Because if I do home, both her personal upkeep and the, and the family budget eh, will increase. So I will keep everything into <laughs> here. Uh, anyway, I was only joking. Okay. I, I'm not going to tell my wife anything. Uh, you better you not. You know, it is said that uh, two good heads mm. are better than one stupid one. <laughs> it is nice you wouldn't tell your wife. Because if you make the mistake, eh? Oh, sorry. Your wife will make you to realize that in the court, we have foul is presiding. Cockroach doesn't go there. And win the case. <laughs> <laughs> there is no anyway. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. See you later. May you live love, Your Majesty. Thank you very much, Lady Chairman. How are you and your family? You're fine. Okay. I just got straight to why I invited you here. Okay. I need um, the number of all widows and widowers, orphans and destitutes under my jurisdiction. Huh? So I assign you the little task of conducting a concise census. And let me have a comprehensive list. Okay. Oh, as you please, Your Majesty. There is something that you can do. Yes, I can do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, may you learn forever, Your Majesty. I can take my leave now. No, no. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hello, Chikezi. Uh, what exactly happened last night? The entire community suffered total blackout. What happened? The transformer blew up. And why didn't you tell me? If the transformer blew up, we got a new one. Uh, no, no, Chikezie, no, that's not good enough. That is not good enough. Our people would not live in darkness in this community. If there's a problem with the transformer, the semi deportation will get a new one. I am talking to you as your king, not as the government or a politician who promises the people a good life and then they turn around and fail them. I will not fail my people. 
in an if and neku, chick is here. If there's a problem with a transformer, you're not fixing it. I don't want you running back to me and talking about repairs and all. That way you find an excuse to come extort money from... No? Yes, I know you're listening to me. Get me the quotation for a brand new transformer for the people of Obudoma before the end of today. Are we clear on that? Igwa kaka, Ikemba, Igwe, you are taking this too far. <laughs> Why were you not here yesterday? Igwe? I'm not happy. I'm not happy that you were not here for my birthday celebration, given the fact that all the kings were here. It is not what you think. You're supposed to know how engaging and tasking running a kingdom is. I understand, because I am a king too. But I know that there is nothing that you cannot handle as a king of Azuka kingdom. Like I said, other kings from neighboring communities who had affairs in their communities to run as well. They made our time and they came to celebrate with me. But you were not here. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Not when that head is strong enough to handle whatever comes its way. Igwe. Okaka. You're capable. You're just making excuses. You know what I'm talking about. The white light. I am sorry. I should have been there. Please forgive me. Please. It is fine. I forgive you. I hold it not against you. Thank you so much. Ikemba, hmm? have you given a thought to my proposal? Sincerely, I have not. Because all we ask is all that we shall continue to ask. People of Obudoma community would not revisit your proposal until you meet our demands. It is simple, Igwe. <laughs> Ikemba, don't forget that I'm a king as well. A great king that oversees a kingdom four times bigger than yours. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I am also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Resources. And every day I deal with kings of different kingdoms and tribes. I know for a fact that there's a way things are done and things are meant to be done. Why are you confusing the two? I think you're the one trying to confuse us. Huh? For as far as I'm concerned, the way things are done and the way things are meant to be done are one and the same. <laughs> Ikimba, you are still very young. It is best if you do what you are told. Iguakaka, age has nothing to do with wisdom. For I know a lot of foolish old men. Let me ask you, in the interest of my people, will what you're asking me to do make me a great king or a great follower? I ask you, for I have decided to remain a great king to and for my people and not to follow. 
He came back. He must tread carefully. A tree might be deceived that is so firm. But don't forget, it can be blown off by the wind. No matter the strength of the wind, it can never uproot the grass. Mm. Okay. Papa, my guy. Okay, I am tired of living like this. Okay, this is not life that I am living. This is not life. After three years of serving my master, Look at me, there is nothing to show for it. There's no car, there's no business. I'm just walking up and down in this village like a useless and hopeless human being. See, if nothing is being done about this, this whole thing, I, I, I am thinking of doing something crazy to myself. Da! You will stop that. When there is life, there is hope. Never you say you want to give up because of your master did not say to you. Don't say that. I hate that. There is hope. Don't say that. Never you give up in life. There is hope. There is hope. There is life. I'm even thinking of going to see the white lion. Ah, the Igwe. I'm thinking of going to see him. Maybe ask him for assistance. I can walk in his palace as a palace guard. I don't know. I'm skeptical about it. I don't know what the outcome might be. You know, I didn't remember seeing you. It's true, the Igwe has been helping a lot of people in the community. He's been helping. Even if you should go to the palace and tell him about your problems, he will solve it. I didn't think about it. So when did you think we should go? Mm. For me now, eh? mm. I don't know about you. I'm going to the palace right away. I'm going to tell him my problem. I will tell him See, white lion, if you don't help me right now, I'll commit suicide. I'll kill myself. I just stop saying that now. You can go away. He's been helping a lot of people. Good day. I stop saying that you want to give up. I come. Imagine what I've been reading. The, 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 the news has it that the Igwe has extended his benevolence to the patients in St. Teresa Hospital. And uh, of course, the FMC, the state's FMC, Federal Medical uh, Center, by clearing the hospital bill of 150 patients. Yay! And the five others who have special medical cases, they are promised to fly abroad according to their medical requirements so that it will be taken care of over there. Eh? Eh? And the last one, that I heard is that the Igwe he has promised to bring down 50 mud houses belonging to uh, 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 to widows and indigent people and then replace it with modern building. Hey! Hmm. Oh God, oh. <laughs> I thank you for giving us this kind of a what king in this little kingdom. What if eh? do we have? What if we do? This is just not government. It's not government. Hey. Just one traditional ruler. One man who has seen life as a summum bonum. That is the highest good. Hey. You, know, you, you, know, you know, Jesus said life is more important than the thing used in, in taking care of it. It's you see, he has seen life as the most important thing so that people will live and enjoy in it. Great man. Huh? What, God, what, please. Oh my God. Keep this what man keep... for us, so Pico. Oh. Is it not Obinna? Let, 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 let's see. Obinna. Oh, Obinna. <laughs> hey. Is it Obinna? <laughs> this is our king, eh? He has done more than Napoleon could do. Papa, uh, how are you? Uh -huh. How are you? How are you? Very well, and you? Oh, thank God, everything is copacetic over here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As you can see. Welcome. Uh -huh. Thank you, man. Hi, honey. Oh, I have to go now. 
Yeah. You, you are where, where, where are you always in a hurry? Why can't you stay and take something? I, I am fine. I'm not hungry, sir. Obina, come back in the evening. I want to prepare a delicious meal for you. Okay, Mama. Obina, I'm not happy with you. Every time you come here, come and eat, you refuse. Does the food you eat here make you to suffer from dyspepsia? <laughs> Lack of digestion? <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, Papa. I'll come this evening and I'll eat when I come. Make sure you do not scam my mother. <laughs> I'll drag you. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Hey! Made it known and clear. Um, but your interest, your happiness, your survival, um, comes tops on my mind. I do not want to head a community where we have constant agitation over basic things that mankind should enjoy by here on earth. And that is why I work tirelessly to ensure that our people are gainfully employed, our people are educated, our people have strong values and respect our culture and tradition. Uh, we all know called me this morning to tell me that um, a few persons from our community are affected um, by a few things. Uh, so we have decided to put everything aside and listen to all of you. Your Majesty, the gauge is a member. Okay, kita jisi anyoko. The white lion. <laughs> yes. I'm a lizard, okay, man. I know you are capable of whatever you say you do. I know that. I am saying, may the gods continue to bless you the more. You say, thank you so much. For I know you will do it. Yes. Uh, so let us start with the young man to my left. What is your name? Igwe. Igwe, my name is Nana. The one his mother came to see me last night. You are right, Mama. Yes, Igwe. Uh, so, what is your challenge now? Uh, Igwe, ever since I returned from the prison, things have been very difficult. Igwe, I need a means of survival. Everything is so difficult for me. I need, if it's a job or just to set up something, Igwe. Truth is, young man, um, Getting employment um, with any top company right now would be a bit tricky because um, you'll be seen as an ex-convict. Nobody cares if you're innocent or not. Um, I'm going to send you abroad. Hey, Igwe! Hey, Igwe, thank you very much. Hey, help me thank Igwe. Hey, Igwe, thank you, thank you. Hey, Igwe, hey, hey. So I'll be, I'll be traveling abroad. <laughs> hey! Please. Hey! Calm down, calm down. Hey! Hey! Ah. Where's hey. my mother? She needs to hear this. Hey! Igwe, thank you, thank you. Igwe, thank you very much. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey! 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 Uh, what's your name and how can we help you? My name is Chiamaka, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I want to further my education, but my parents don't have the money to see me through. Education? Yes, yes. Oh no, education. Yes. yes. Um, education is very close to my heart. The reason we have a rotten society today is that you have a higher percentage of uneducated people and they outnumber the educated ones. And that is why when you look around, you find that the, the worst of us, because they outnumber the best of us, will always lead the best of us. And that is why you find that the continent of Africa and the country we live in struggles 
So I would not hesitate to invest in the education of anyone who wants to go to school. So that our tomorrow will not be as bleak as our today and our future will be much brighter. Uh, but I'm going to ask you a few questions. I hope you don't mind. How far have you gone with your schooling? I just finished my secondary school and I gained admission but no money to register. Hmm. Um, how much are you looking at? 50, as acceptance fees, 58,814 naira. Then the school fees is 150,000, Your Majesty. Oh, so that's slightly above 200,000. Okay. Um, you're going to leave this place with a sum of 300,000. <laughs> Oh, yes, Igwe! Oh, yes, Igwe! Yeah. Okay, now that's not all. The Royal Home will take care of your education till you graduate. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. You just helped me. Just my family, thank you. Thank you. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Oh, 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 Mr. Bernard's company. Mr. Bernard, the one that was um, sexually assaulting you. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, I remember I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, Your Majesty, I want to expand my salon business, but I don't have money to do that. Please, I need help. It is fine. Um, expansion is not bad. And I'm also happy to hear that um, after that episode, you decided to start something for yourself. Huh? Yes, Your Majesty. It is good. How much are you looking at? Um, I, I need like 350,000 Naira to add up to what I have. Okay. Um, how many staff do you have right now at your salon? I have four, Ibe. Four? Yes. You know that when you expand, you need more hands? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. So I'm going to give you the sum of 1 million Naira for starters. Hey! Ibe! Young man, I know you. I have seen your face before. Yes, I don't know. Yes. Uh, this is the assistant to the youth leader. He is the one. I remember you. Yes. They were agitating for pie bomb water. He is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, what's the challenge? Well, Your Majesty, after serving my master for so many years, he refused to settle me. Your Majesty, please, I need help. I don't mind working in your palace as a guard. Uh, when did you finish serving your master? It should be three years. And why did you not come to me? Your Majesty, I, I was scared. And I was hoping... No, you to... shouldn't be scared. You're an indigent. You're, an, you're a son of the soil. Uh, this is your father's land. Uh? Yes, Your Majesty. And I was hoping he, he would do the needful. But he didn't. Well, clearly, he has not done the needful. If you had come to me, then I'm sure the elders would have, you know, called him to order. But however, that's in the past. Um, so what's your specialty? I deal in clothing. <coughs> clothing? Yes, Your Majesty. So what do you want to do? Your Majesty, if I can get money to, to establish my own clothing line or probably a boutique, I would appreciate it. Okay. You're young. Uh, people of your age arrange um, 
find fashion quite interesting. So I think it will be lucrative for you. I am going to give you the sum of two million naira. Hey! Hold on, young man, please. Um, I'll um, also get you an international passport, um, help you prepare your documents, um, just like this young man here, so that you can travel to Turkey and bring clothes in. And uh, now that's not all. That is not all. You start the business and every month you will bring your books to me. Let me see how you're doing. And if after one calendar year you have done well, I'm going to expand that business and have you train five other young men from this community so that they can learn under you and also be as successful. Hey, oh God. Hey, God. Hey, your majesty. Oh, yes. Hey! Oh, yes. Igwe. Igwe. Hey. Igwe. 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 So you are going back today to see that uh, controversial VC? Yes, Papa. I feel for you, my daughter. I don't know what is wrong with this people. What do they want? Eh? I mean, I mean, why, why can they give you this thing? After you have all the requirements. Uh, it's a fail system. A fail system. Look at them, suffering my daughter just because she wants to become a lecturer. Eh? Mama, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Mm. Ah, so, Obina is it? Ah. Ah, Obi. How are you? Fine, Obi. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, come and sit down and let me get you something to eat before you people go. Uh, uh, Mama, I'm okay. I don't want to eat anything. Yeah. Okay, well, if you say so. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, but I wish you, well, I wish you luck, you. eh? Okay. Good luck, my daughter. Okay, Good luck. Okay, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. I just hope that she will, they will give her this job. Eh? I just, I just don't know. This thing is eating up this. This child, huh? She got every requirement. I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah. My love. Yeah. So tell me. How do I look? Gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful. And of course, you know you're the most beautiful girl in this life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Let us pray. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, today we ask for success. We ask for your favor. Amen. Father, I pray that you shall lead my woman. Make her heart to be happy today. Let us have good news today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. I love you. I love you too. The welcome the one. The white lion that feeds everybody in Obodoma Kingdom. I am coming for my early morning take home. Let me see who is going to stop me and I will tell the person that Mwa, Otenku Mwan of Obodoma. Oh yes, I have a backbone. The only man that is benevolent and he can give any human being, including myself, Money for doing nothing, drinking, and enjoying his life. No human being on. Hey, evil men of Obodoma, I greet you. Who is he referring to? Biangwaka Nangutanku. Are you mad? Is your name Biggie? How dare you? 
If I scatter your head now with this man, Kucha, if evil meets evil, it becomes atomic bomb. Don't try me. Don't try me. You think I don't know your evil plans? Hey, I am aware. And that's by the way. <laughs> I heard that my son, my boy, the Igwe Kemba, the white lion of this, our Obodoma, he has been benevolent enough to increase your camp allowance. Obokwa camp. Obokwa camp. Palace allowance. Eh? Eh? He lifted your life up. Go and eat. Eat. But I know your plans. So you don't love him. I know you don't love him. You don't love him, but go and enjoy the lagis. Uh, uh, lagis, lagis. What do eh? Are you alright? No. You are calling our king. Our equal, your boy. Are you alright? He, 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 is he done, my boy? Hey. Ah, a boy I carried from there as a baby? Ah, ah. Is he not my boy? Hey. You are not a good student of history. Ah, when the, before the father gave birth to him, I was at the gate as a gate man. I left the gate. That was when he traveled from abroad, though. Professor. Then he came back. I became a cleaner. From cleaner, personal guard. And I was carrying him. Rocky, Rocky. Oh, baby, Rocky. That is not the issue. He cannot challenge me. Eh? He can. L listen to me. He. If not for the death of my <laughs> Otenku, don't go back to the past. However, oh, death. Oh, 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 if the father were alive, can you talk to me like that? I would have been the vice, vice president. In fact, I would have been the, the prime minister of this kingdom. Can you talk to me like that? <laughs> don't get me annoyed though. Why are we wasting time with this idiot? I wonder. Whoever claps hand with with a clapping madman on the street is equally mad. Right. Let us go. Hey, you can go. Go! Who is stopping you? Don't try this nonsense again. Evil. Don't try this nonsense again. Evil man. Let me see you in this. Okay. Room. Hey, evil man. Okay. Look at them. Before you fear the devil, fear yes. those red car people moving on. Oh, but drama, fear them, oh! They are evil! Oh! Just imagine. I will not talk. I know they are Just evil machination. My God will never allow any one of you to get me over my dead body. We cannot allow such an opportunity to pass us by. No, I don't support it at all. Honestly, it baffles me why Digwe will turn down such an offer. I, I don't like it. Huh? The truth remains that I am not comfortable with the outcome of today's meeting. Something has to be done, and be done fast. I suggest we go see the owner, so he will help us convince the Igwe. Ichi, you have a point there. This is not right. The Igwe is not getting it right at this time. He needs to do something. It's okay, okay, you have a point there that we should see the know to help us convince Igwe. Exactly. Because if someone stays too long on top of Escrita, different manners of flies will meet him there. Ah, uh -huh. yes. So do we proceed immediately or wait till. Let us proceed.
Hello, ma. Uh, good afternoon, ma. Yes, ma. Do you want me to take you to the airport? Ah, oh, I am not disposed now. I am not disposed. I, I, I actually took my fiancé to school to do something. Yeah. Okay, man. So, would, if you don't mind, let me send a number of my colleague or uh, I. One of my colleagues at the airport as well. Oh, okay, ma. I'm sorry for the disappointment, ma. Thanks for your understanding. No, if it's not too early, hopefully in the next three or four hours, I'll be done. I'll still take you to the airport, ma. Oh, okay, okay, ma. Thank you, ma. All right. Hey, GK. I'm here because of what um, my friend, Uju and I, discussed with you earlier. Yes, I can remember. Mm -hmm. But you can't see the king now. Ah. Why now? Okay, no problem. Please. Are you assuring us that we'll get this job? I'm very sure. Very, very certain you'll get a job. I mean, the lady that was working here before, she got married. And of course, the wedding was postponed by the great king in Kimba. Wow. And they both travel abroad for their honeymoon. And the Keshi, the cook, she got admission. So you can see that the palace, they need workers. Okay. So for now, there is availability of jobs here. But one thing I'm not certain about is your character. Listen, we don't need stupid people here. NGK. We are disciplined. Uju and I, we are very disciplined. We, we are humble. Just give us the job. Give us the job. It's okay. Do we have to go? Then come back with your friend. Okay. Huh? Probably you can be the cleaner while she be the cook, okay. as the case may be. Huh? Okay. So just go and come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Otega Otenko. Why you go? Otega Otenko. You go. Why? Otega, you are going to choke. You are going to choke. You have decided that you are going to have alcohol in your mouth in the you time. But we are trying to rescue you in this community because we love you. Otega, I think that you have had enough just for today. You Otega, you man, queen. You have had enough. Or see me, you go. Igwe, with all due respect. Uh, Nico. Uh, <coughs> Igwe, uh, when are you going to make me the prime minister of your cabinet? Otega. Mm, what is delaying the appointment? What is delaying it? Otega, you want to be the owner. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, Igwe. Oh, my king, it's not a laughing matter. Otega. You want to be the Ono? Hey, okay, okay, okay. Happy the Prime Minister. Uh, now, make me the Ono who of all the DBS in this your kingdom. In this our kingdom, I will catch all the witches and wizards that will try to torment you. Uh, uh, it is fine. <laughs> I'm ready. You want to be the Ono? Uh, I don't go with people. I'm going to process it. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me think about it. In the meantime, I'll take her. No. I honestly think that uh, you've had enough alcohol for today. Uh, uh, you must begin to think uh, of uh, going back home. Uh, 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 one more thing. What is it? Imana, and ever since you divorced your queen, Juliana. Oh, Julie. 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 Mm, Julie. Julie, you tried to. But she did not succeed. Julie did everything humanly possible to get me out of your way. Mana, she did not succeed. <laughs> you see, everything turned around for me, for my good. 
Julie is out. I'm still in the palace. <laughs> if, 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 uh, uh, Julie, Julie, she's not the giving type like you. Uh, she, the... she wasn't. Um, she wasn't very friendly. She was quite sarcastic in her own way, and, and maybe that's just her personality. My way, that 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 queen, eh? She's incredible. Julie, you did everything humanly possible. Hmm? To get me away from my Igwe. My number. Everything turned around for me. Everything is turning around. Turning around. Turning around for my good. Look, she's out. I am still in the palace. If you go, who, who, who lose? Julie lose. <laughs> uh, she might not have been the, the friendliest of queens, you know. But um, she was a good person too. And I'd like that uh, we continue to, to respect her, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, please. Uh, Igwe, Igwe, uh, that your queen was incredible. Yay! Igwe, Igwe, she will tell me. Igwe, Igwe, you smell like hell. Mm. 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 You will invest the Igwe with invasion. Mm. 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 Mana, at times, she will dash me little, little money. Uh, uh, little, little money. So you I'm remember? To, of you course. Remember? Of course. Uh -huh. Mana, but that's by the way. Uh, Igwe. Mm. When are you going to get another uh, Ibafa? Queen, 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 queen. You like, want another queen? Uh, queen, like, uh, uh, like Juliana. The, the, the office of... Uh, What's the name now? Uh, Ugueze. <coughs> Ugueze. Uh. It's short. Uh, when are you going to open it? Oh, do, do, do you want to play the Igwe and Ugueze and the same time? What do you mean, man? No. I'll tell you what i No. You know that you love me so much. Oui. And I love you too. Oui. I'll tell you what I'm going to You practically carried me in the palm of your arms when I was a little bit. Be because of your relationship with the royal family. Mm. And since then, I have maintained with you the relationship that you had with my father, the late king. <laughs> and that is why you show so much interest in the affairs of those parents. Quay. We are going to strike a deal today, Otaka. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the deal. You want another Agueze. Quay. I want you to stop drinking. The day you stop drinking, I promise that I shall present you another way. <laughs> You're still drinking. Igwe, you're a man. Okay, I will start drinking soonest. Uh. Let this matter rest for now. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So ponder over what I have just told you and let me know what your response is on a different day, not today. Eh? Because right now it is half human talking, half alcohol talking. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Otego, my wise Igwe. You are very wise. You are very wise. Miss Mirama, right? Yes, please. Sorry, Prof said he will attend to you tomorrow. Huh? Yes. Tomorrow again? Yes. But he said, he said he said he was going to see me. It's what he said. Please be here tomorrow by one. Honey, it's almost 4 p.m. Let's go to a restaurant and uh, get something to eat. You can, but I'm not hungry. I don't even have appetite. 
I have been telling you. Please put yourself in order. Huh? Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. How? I don't know why he keeps rescheduling our appointments. Maybe he has a very tight schedule. I'm just tired of this whole thing. It's getting me frustrated. You have to be patient. Trust me. Nothing good comes easy. Okay? <sighs> the man is just... Every time we have to meet, that's when he will just start turning me around. I beg, I'm just tired. Tired. Uh, is it, uh, we all know that. He said, and I quote, I wouldn't want them to go drill the oil found on our land without paying the adequate compensation because it could have a negative effect on our agricultural produce. It could also have ecological damage negative ecological effect. And anything that has to do with destruction, as far as this kingdom is concerned, the king is against it. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I wonder why we should be discussing this matter, this same topic. Why are we even on the same topic this moment? Oh no, the truth of the matter is, all this can be prevented. Oil, the oil discovered in our land is very little. Oh no. Very, very little. Oh no. We are talking about crude oil here, not Gary. Crude oil. You are talking about crude oil. Then tell Igor Kaka to pay the adequate compensation. For nothing goes for nothing. Yes. What, what has the king not done for us in this kingdom? The white lion. What has he not done? What is he not doing? What will he not do for us in this kingdom? We are lacking nothing. I'm even surprised that the cheese are discussing this matter. I'm ashamed of all of you. Yes. Other kingdoms around ours are wishing, praying to have a king like this that will be ruling them. And we are not grateful. We don't know the value of the kind of king we have. And we don't know the value of what we have. He sent our children to school. They are, benefit, they are enjoying free education from primary to secondary. Our children in universities are receiving 20000 each as a monthly salary. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Hi. Can you keep quiet? Let me talk. No, what you should do is... Sit quiet and listen. Make use of your ears and eyes. Watch me and you listen to me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Two of your sons were sent abroad by the same king we are discussing here. Dozi, your first son, is in China. Ikenna, your last son, is in Germany. What is the problem? What do you want? Okay, is it Akunangwa? Akunangwa's wife had a case of cancer, serious cancer. The same king we are discussing flew her to India. I'm talking, you are staring at me. Would any member of your family have dreamt of crossing the shores of this country? Or have you not heard? If you have not seen, have you not heard? How cancer kills if not given adequate treatment? Oh no, you have just insulted me and my family. Oh no, oh no, you are going too far. Oh no, bring this discussion back to the topic on ground. This is what I just said, I'm taking the matter too far. In fact, I am ashamed of all of you, the cheese. I'm ashamed of you. I don't expect to hear this kind of thing from any of you at all. Is it you? Your son is one of those that received 5 million naira each from the same king we are talking about. So 
after that, you go and better their lives. Your daughter, Ada, was given 3 million naira. In other words, within the space of one hour, during one hour meeting, you've gotten millionaire children. And you are here frowning your face. Why are human beings so ungrateful? Why are we so ungrateful? I'm asking you people. Why are we frowning and murmuring over oil, little oil discovered in our land that could turn against us with time? Listen, anything that will be destructive to this kingdom in future, the king is against it. And we must support the king and his vision for our own good. We must support the king and his vision. He could have just said that hmm. at all. He is the worst person for us to have met with for this cause. Wait a minute. Was it not Ichi Okiki who said we should go to him in the first place? As in. What are we going to do? Since the Onowu is not in agreement with us. I don't know. I don't really know, honestly. I don't know. I will suggest that we go to Awaigwe hmm? and tell him that Igwe Okaka and the government should be allowed to come into our land to drill the oil. Mm -hmm. Then enlist our community as one of the oil producing communities. From there, development come and life moves on. You're right. You're right, Ichi Akunawa. Let's go and tell him our minds. Let, let us go. Let's At go. Least our community has to be listed among the, the community of oil producing uh, communities. You're right. <laughs> you know, that's we that's can't, why we, we can't miss we can't miss this opportunity. That's why I always call you an elder among the elders. <laughs> Allow those intruders and then what? My elders in council, I'm asking you, allow these intruders and then what? Lose our homes. Our schools. Marketplace. Or how about our farmlands? Our gold mine. We cannot afford to be myopic at a time like this. Mm -mm. I personally do not care about the incentives or dividends that would come from the spillage. For that will be criminal. That will be against the desires of the gods of our land. Chuku Kika Biyama would not be happy with us. We must remain steadfast. Stand for the truth at all times. We allow these people coming here steal our oil and natural resources. And 20 years from now, what then happens? The beautiful land of Obodoma becomes barren and dry and our people begin to live in penury. And I say no. My legacy as King Ikimba is to make sure that even after I'm long gone, that our people continue to live in plenty. Your Majesty, there are preventive measures according to the oil company. A thousand preventive measures would not make me say yes to this. If these people are sincere, they would not be bringing forth preventive measures. There are laid down rules and agreement for partnership. Why are these people not talking about it? Why do they keep pushing forward their agenda and talking about preventive measures? We sat down, we talked, we agreed. We told them that if you people must set up a drilling station in Obodoma, the agreement has follows, but no. They talk to a few people in our community to brainwash them so that they can steal us blind. And I say no. We're not hungry people. 
we have been blessed. Obodoma is one of the richest communities in the world. Blessed with not just human resources, but also mineral resources. God blessed this land with everything that the people will ask for. We're not hungry. Our children are doing well. Our women are fruitful. Everyone in this community can attest to the fact that they are all beneficiaries of Ikemba's care initiative. If anyone in this community has not benefited, let them signify. It is my responsibility to do well as your king and also protect your interest. If these people want to work with us, they know what to do. But until then, we say no. Any objections? Igwe is correct. Yes, he's right. He has done so much for us. As a matter of fact, he has done more than so much for us. Extremely so much for us. Yes, you are right. We have to be grateful and thank the gods for the gift they have gifted us with. That's the truth. Yes. In that case, I believe that we have an agreement. Thank you also very much for being so understanding and kind. We will. That was absolute nonsense. Arrant nonsense. Igwe Kemba thinks he's wiser than the whole of us, and as a result, dictate to us. I vehemently disagree with everything he said. Now, come to think of it. There are other communities having what we discovered here. Yes. Has anything happened any of them? Nothing. No. Nothing happened anywhere. It is clear that he is trying to shift our minds from this matter. Thereafter, he will go to Igwe Okaka and take this deal from us. We all know how often the Igwe's daughter comes to the palace and have a good time with her father. Yes, okay, okay. Exactly what I'm thinking. That must be his plan. That's it. You see? <laughs> Which king, which king can reject such an offer? Nobody. We are talking of offer of hundreds of millions. This man is planning to outsmart us. We can never allow it. We must stand our ground. That is good. We have to think on this. Yes. We need someone who will convince him. Someone who will convince him to change his mind. On this matter. Yes. yes. I think yes. you I think you're right there. That's what I you heard have. It. I had it. This one copy. You had what? Who are you trying to convince? Evil James. Who are you trying to convince? Convince over what? Look at them. Evil red cap it chase. All of you, evil. You are trying to change somebody's mind for something that is good for the whole kingdom. And you want somebody to convince him to change his mind from doing good. These people are evil. Fear them. Fear this red cap bitches. I don't know what your red cap means. It means evil. You belong to evil enclave of witches and wizards, you are poisoned to us in this kingdom now. Why don't you go to your kingdom and change the good things that they have there to bad things to show that you are truly witches and wizards. Leave us alone. You are evil. Get out of this our kingdom. We don't want to leave us alone. Eh? And you are poison to all of us, all of you. You are poison. I know your plan, so, and I can never leave you and allow you to poison our minds. Whoever you are poisoning and you try to change his mind to stop doing good things to us, it will never happen. Otenku will never allow it. 
all of you, the devil is a liar. All of you will know that. He's drunk. He's always drinking. He's a perpetual drunk. Eh, look at him. Mua drunk. Eh? Who is a drunk? Hey! Me, a drunk. I am your shadow. I am your shadow and you can never run away from your shadow. Otenku, your shadow is moving ahead of you. Move with your shadow. Move. I follow you. Please, am I seeing proof today? I'm sorry. He traveled to see his family. What? What is really going on? I thought we were scheduled for today. I'm sincerely sorry, Miss Niyama. Ha! This is really not fair. This is not fair at all. But it's fine. It's okay. She won't understand. This one. I have told you before, relax your mind. Do not get easily angry and then lose the good part at the end of the day. I have spent all week going in and out of that school unattended. This is hurtful. Well, I think that this VC is very tribalistic. Yes, because he attends to people just from his state, especially the women. That's arrant nonsense. Because my daughter graduated summa cum laude, and I saw she deserved a job. By the way, why should he become that tribalistic when it comes to academic matter? Why? Even if it's not education, no one is supposed to be tribalistic. Uh -huh. When it comes to vital things like that, it's just like uh, employing a fake doctor just because he's your brother and then he will end up killing all the patients. Eh? I think we have to be patient here. That's just it. We have to be patient. It's fine. I will be patient. Don't worry, you will get the job, okay? Generous. Forgive me for keeping you waiting, Princess Adet. Your name and fame are spread abroad. Now tell me, how many queens and princesses have come before me? Adez. Adez. <laughs> how is your father, Igor Kaka? He's fine, but not as you are. He sends his greetings. And I receive it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. You know, you came at the right time. It's, it's not Oh, time. sorry, my king. Um, I have something for you. Just hold a minute. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Happy belated birthday to you. Even as you grow older, you still look Ages and cute. Please accept this from me. I know you can afford thousands of feet, but this one is specially from me to you, my king. Ah, uh, Daisy, you will not cease to amaze me. You got me a car. Yes, my king. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. This means a lot. Like <laughs> I always say, it's always a thought that matters. Yes. Uh, and this one has counted. Thank you. Dala. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. 
Thank you. Uh, come here. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's good that you came by the games. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. Let's, right. let's do lunch together. Okay. After. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Where is the king? In his room, my princess. In his room? Yes, my princess. Now, is anything the matter? My princess, if you don't like the room, I can take you to another one. Ah. Uh, don't worry, uh, I will be fine. Okay. You may go. Thank you. Why put me in the guest room? I'm supposed to be in his room with him. Wait a minute. Is he that? He doesn't find me attractive. What? I need to find. Our king needs another poem. So let's make it a serious topic. Yes. But the princess of Azoka kingdom is already in the palace. <laughs> hey, our king doesn't like that princess. Huh? I notice it from his character that he doesn't like that princess. But uh, uh, that princess is already there. She does things day to day, week to week. Behaves as if that place is already her home. Don't mind her. The king doesn't even look at her. Yes? The king doesn't like her. I noticed the body language of the king. He doesn't have any regard for that princess. He doesn't love her. All right, um, if our king doesn't like that one, uh, we'll discuss it with him so we can actually be on the lookout for another. Yes. Yes. Uh, after all, uh, very soon the festive period will be here. It's around the corner. Yes, and our sons and daughters, friends, uh, relatives will be coming to our kingdom for yes. the festival. Yes. Uh, because the king needs a queen. He needs a queen, yes, actually. He needs a queen. He needs a and queen. he must get a queen. EGN. EGN, I know. But that is it. Like the horse, I see. May you reign forever, Your Majesty. Oh, come on, rise to your feet, please. I am not worthy to stand. Well, I command you to rise to your feet. Get up. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. I saw the horse and thought it was lonely. I needed company. I needed company. What is your name? My name is Mirama. Miriama is your father. My father is Mr. Eze Onoha. I wish to take my leave now, Your Majesty.
Him. I will. Daddy, I know, I know. You know it's not easy to bend. He's not. Yeah? Father, it takes time to fall in love. You don't expect him to fall just like that. I need time. I need time, Father. Yes, yes. I will do that. Honestly, I will. Father, please, trust me, I will. Oh, oh, okay, okay, Daddy, okay, Daddy. I'll talk to you later, okay? No, 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 he's in his chambers. Yes, in his chambers. All, all right, I'll talk to you later, Father. Take care, oh, bye-bye. That princess, she's just busy spoiling all our plans. Hmm. I will not send her. Oh. I will not send her. Me, Uju, I am here to shoot my shots. Just you know the her. problem? His Majesty is not in any way attracted to her. She's just busy flaunting and forcing herself on him. <laughs> so you've not heard or you've not seen. What? In this palace that she even bought His Majesty a car. What? Look at this one. <laughs> hey. A land cruiser. Tinted glass. Just to get His Majesty's attention. Hey! But for me, Uju, I will do whatever thing it will take for me to get him. I am here to cook the best meal. To capture his mind. Ha! Excuse me. Wait a minute. I'm the one in charge of dressing his bed. Oh yeah? So I'm um, this, I mean this close <laughs> to his heart. Oh, elephant is talking and two want to talk. Eh? <laughs> without, without a roof. Uh, uh, we are all aware of what happened between you and Queen Julia. And we are not gathered here today no, to talk about that. Huh? A queen would emerge when the time comes. So if you don't mind, my orders, I'd like for us to discuss other matters. It's all right, Your Majesty. Uh, it's just that we are uh, so much bothered. Uh, because very soon, uh, festive period will be discussed and activities of the festive period will all be discussed. And we cannot talk about it without having a new queen. Oh, no. I would kindly suggest that you allow this matter rest. I have just declared here that the queen will emerge when the time comes. As it pleases you, your majesty. Igwe. Adeze, my question was simple and concise. Have I overstayed my welcome?
Adeze, I must admit that I admire the artistry behind your manipulative moves. Your father knows, but I am a very rigid king. I am not here because of my father. But take this message to your father. That my orders in council and cabinet will not be cajoled into talking me into agreeing. But your people come here to drill oil from our land without proper agreement. So you think I'm here to talk you into accepting my father's proposal? Hmm? You are the apple of your father's eyes, Adeze. Why will you not protect your father's interest? I'm a king. I'm not an ordinary man. A king who will stop at nothing. His people. I will protect this land. I will protect my people with everything that I have and ensure that they do not suffer even long after I'm gone. And you think that this, you people, that you are ready to die for, really care? <laughs> are they going to? return the favor or protect you like you do to them. I will not be cajoled into thinking in that direction. My people have the willpower and the choice to love wholeheartedly whoever they choose to love. Perhaps they are king in this case. Don't let that get into your head. Human beings are never satisfied. Even a saint was killed by his people. My dear Zokaka, tell your father that I will not allow him pollute my land or our rivers until we reach an accord, Concordia. Excuse me. Pretty girl, I've seen your peppers. They are good. And I know you have tried for us to have this meeting. And here we are. You see, we are not always busy as people think. I give attention to those who understand the game in this academy. It is not just by having your good qualifications. It has personal demands. You understand what I mean? I'm sorry, sir. I, I think I am lost. You are such a pretty and intelligent girl. You should understand what I mean. Just have it. And everything will be fine. Sir, I'm trying to understand you, but if I get you correctly, you want me to live with you before you sign my papers? You are pretty girl. Let's have it. Enjoy ourselves and everything will be okay. Excuse me, sir. You're making me uncomfortable. And I don't like this. Why are you uncomfortable? It is just... Let's come together as... And have it. And you have it. I'm sorry, sir. I can't do this. That's a business. Hey. Hey, baby. How are you, honey? 
You were back so early. Yes. How did it go? Ow. Did you see the vice chancellor? <sighs> Same story. Can you imagine the man who wants to sleep with me before signing the papers? What? I don't know. I'm just tired of everything. I'm just weak. <sighs> what kind of nonsense is this? Huh? That old, hard-looking man was just, just seated there, bluffing up and down. I don't know why men wouldn't help young girls without getting into their pants. It's okay, it's okay. I know how you feel. It's okay. We'll get through this, okay? It's just that the man is thinking with his manhood. But we'll get through it. It's fine. Yeah. How did it go with the mechanic? Oh. The car needs serious servicing, honestly. Alright, let me just go in and finish with what I was doing. Put a smile on this face. Come on. I'll be fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. I'll be fine. Alright. <laughs> I'm waiting. Alright. <sighs> you go, Kaka. He came back. I must say, for a king who. Rules a kingdom as big as yours, you do. Find time, really. Enough time to visit me often. Huh? <laughs> if Muhammad cannot go to the mountain, the mountain does not have a choice but go to Muhammad. Oh, well, I am sure that if Muhammad had something to say to the mountain, Muhammad would have gone to the mountain. The white lion. Hmm? I do enjoy these words we share, but I must say that things have gone a bit far. Have they? Of course. It was not my intention to get carried away with all these frivolities. You are like a younger brother to me. Just like your kingdom is younger to mine. To foreign, bigger, even fight, but remain as family. I am happy to see that you are beginning to think in the lines of peace and reconciliation. I will therefore say that it will not be out of character if we begin to retrace our steps to a place of harmony and peace. I concur. In fact, I extend my hand of friendship and a drink that is truly of the gods and is worthy of the king's mouth. Ah! Akaka! <laughs> I see that you came prepared. Uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I fear that your hand of friendship might not have been washed enough. To be extended. And what do you imply? God's out of sleep. Evil can never befall me by day or by night. Evil has swallowed my pride and came here to offer you brotherhood and you spit on it? Understanding of brotherhood is different from mine. 
Thirdly and most importantly, when will it hit you that you cannot kill or dethrone me? Such audacity! If this is what you want, then you have to prepare for war! We have already had war. Is all this, <laughs> eh? My daughter, is that the only school you want to work with? Or that mm -hmm. all my life as a child, I have always dreamed of being a lecturer in that institution. <laughs> this is my dream. This is all I have ever wanted. <laughs> I am just heartbroken. It's all right, my daughter. I am going to write the commissioner of education in this state, demanding to know from him why a girl who has only text academically to live her dream in this very country, why she should be denied of such opportunity simply because she refused to be like others or even sacrifice her dignity on the altar of promiscuity. I will do that. I don't know. Eh? Seriously, my husband, you, you need to write. In fact, you need to go to that office yourself. What is all this? My daughter cannot become useful to herself and the society. Do they even know how much Obina spent training this girl? Hmm? And even making sure that she graduated and gone for her master's. This is heartbreaking. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. So all, all my efforts of meeting this man, all the stress I passed through, he wants to sleep with me. <laughs> it's all right, my daughter. That man must regret it. For a mere mention of it, henceforth, in his dreams, he will be sleeping with his succubuses. What a country. It's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? Only, uh, do you know you, you're taking a very big risk? And a very bad one at that. <laughs> risk? Yes. What kind of risk are you talking about? Obina, tell me, how can you train a girl to this level of education? With all your sweats, with everything that makes you a man. And yet, you're refusing to sleep with her. Or even marry her at once. Come to Kennedy, what is the problem? You think you're the only one seeing the beauty in Miroma? It's like you want to lose that girl. You can, uh, what kind of talk is this? I don't understand. Where are you headed? Listen, one day, came I had a very terrible dream. And in that dream, you were wailing, you were weeping, crying profusely. My love, oh, Mirama, oh, is this, I'm going to lose all my sacrifice, all my sweats. Money, you're losing that girl. I see you losing that girl. Kenda, I rebuke you. I rebuke anything speaking through you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell me. How can you, how can you say that a vice chancellor of our state university is asking you girl out. Did I say asking out? Wants to sleep with a woman and you're just sitting comfortably here and saying it. Oh, you're not seeing the signs. Get a lot of I don't see you. I see you losing that girl. You cannot listen to me. I listen real good. Miriam, my girl, 
Mm. It's not a loose girl like every other girl you see on the street. We are bounded by love that no man can break. Not you, not even the vice chancellor. Nobody can come in between us. And let me let you know this that Miram and I we are planning to get married very soon. So just get this naughty thought Dying. out of your mind. Forget this story. Let us go and marry this girl before it is too late. Let us go and marry her. Because I see you losing this girl. Oh. Obina, I see you losing this girl. I'm not coming for you, Thank you for your candid advice, but please can you leave my house now? Yes, I don't want to repeat myself. You can uh, leave my house now with your advice. My man, take me here too. Yeah, now I do not want to raise my voice, please. Leave my house. I'm only looking out for you. Think about this. Over. Get out. the dreamer. You had a dream. You came to advise me. There is this uh, medical doctor friend of the vice chancellor. You know, I used to carry him in my cab, but I lost his contact. Yeah, I will go to the golf uh, feud where they used to play golf together i will ask around get his contact then i'll forward it to you so you can call him do you think something fruitful will come out of it yeah sure you know. oh honey calm down just calm calm down i understand how you feel huh but we are in this together Honey, listen, your pain is my pain. And trust me, hand in hand, you and I will cross this hurdle together. Do you have to go to sleep? The first thing tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll go to the place where they used to play golf, then get his contact. Let's give it a try. You never can tell, okay? Come. Calm, calm, just calm down. I understand. Calm down. Okay, my love. I will just go freshen up and try to sleep. All right, honey. I love you so much. I love you too. Good night. God, please. I don't know what's going on. Please help me touch the hearts of these people. Help me touch the hearts of this vice chancellor. Please, God, I really need this job. I need this job. God, please. Ah, you are still here. Mama. I really cannot sleep. I'm worried. I really need this job. But your father went to the Minister of Education yesterday. And he submitted the letter. Oh, we forget that thing. Those letters will be cooling off in the trash can or torn into pieces as the case may be. These people are the same people. Circle of humanizers. I know them. I'm beginning to be worried now. Seriously, these people may harm you. Huh. So, what do we do now? Obina said he will get a contact and give to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe the vice chancellor's friend. I'll just try to talk to him at least to help convince the man to give me the job. Hey, I pray that works. So. I just pray. Okay, let us go to bed now. Let us go inside. Mm -hmm. Stand up, stand up. <sighs> Stand up.
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go and sleep. Yeah, go to your room. Go to your room. Go and sleep. Rest your head. Yeah? All right. Good night. Uh, good night. Go, go and sleep. Yeah? I'm glad that you like it here. I'll cherish this moment forever, Your Majesty. I'm happy that you feel this way. I am happy too, my Lord. You know, I feel a sense of peace. Happiness each time you're around me. It's a privilege, my lord, that I can make my lord feel this way. Miriama, do you know that you're beautiful? Yes, my lord. Nature is beautiful. Because you're one of God's most beautiful creation. It was a dream. Oh. You must be dreaming about us, huh? A dream that has nothing to do with you. That is it. My king. Your presence around the palace makes me uncomfortable and sure that while you are here, that you do nothing out of character. Why would I do anything out of character Adesa. to a protected king? Adesa. Your mission here is dead on arrival. Your mission will never see the light of the day. <laughs> My darling. <clears throat> Shall we continue this discussion on your bed? I mean, in your sweet chamber. See, forget about what my father wants. Hmm? All I want is for you and I to rule this magnificent God-given kingdom that you have built for yourself, my darling. Have you finished? Of course, my king. And I ask, why have you chosen to wallow in your own folly and live under the impression that I would one day fall for you? It is never going to happen at this. The earlier you understand that, it will do you a world of good. <laughs> in that case, I will remain in this palace until you treat me as a queen. 
Why men are just so impossible, unbelievable one? Oh my gosh, God, I'm just so pissed. Honey, calm down, please. Okay? Do you know that his friend is a fool as well? Telling me, eh, it's not just one night and I get what I want. That other girls are ready to do it and that was so special about me. It's okay, I, I, I understand how you feel. But it's okay, take it easy. Alright? <sighs> This is my dream. My dream for so many years and I can't get it because I cannot sacrifice my body on the table of my own career. Kanye, we're in this together. Trust me, it will still true. Hand in hand, you and I will cross this hurdle together. I am with you. <sighs> We are not seeing any evil. Our ego is not doing anything. My question is, why will Igwe Okaka use his daughter as a trap? When we all know the kind of king we have, that is not the person that can be trapped with a woman. Igwe Kemba is very intelligent to read in between the lines. He's a failed mission on arrival. I mean what Igwe Okaka is doing with his daughter. It's obvious that Uyugwe doesn't want to take the oil contract or do what we said before. As for me, the princess should get out of the palace immediately because she's already a failure. She's not working. I don't think so. The presence of Princess Adeze in the palace is another way of making our Igwe bow. Even if our Igwe is not man enough, the beauty of Princess Adeze we make him succumb. Yes, I believe they are working on something. Let us give them some time and chance. What time and chance? I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this at all, honestly. The princess is there just for her selfish interest. She is there to marry the famous king. You are there. And forget about her father's company? Really? Let us just watch. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Igwe. Igwe. Some people... They are praying for your downfall. Though. They are praying for your downfall. Man, I... We never allow them to succeed. Never. I hear them. I hear them. Oil. They say oil, oil, oil. Sand, sand, sand. And then pour the red oil on top sand. And I ask myself, who is pouring red oil on top sand? Why? Maka, why no? Red cap chiefs. All your red cap chiefs. Hey, 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 hey. Bia, 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 bia. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking to my ego. You can go to your meeting and talk to him. Mana, all your red cap chiefs, they don't like. Be very careful. Watch your back. Now, that was how, if you don't watch your back, remember how eh? your father, they manipulated red cap, oh, red cap. Oh. They manipulated and said he died in plane crash. You are here. They are manipulating. Because we don't want you. Anyway, let's leave that one. Hold your meeting with them. Yeah. No. My, my allowance for eating and drinking. So I can sustain myself. A man cannot kill himself. 
Where are you going to stop drinking? I'm drinking. You get me in Let me eat first. Once I collect my lawi and I will eat. And here, how is that drinking? Hey, Otega. Uh, it is well. You're my friend. And I promised to always take care of you. Thank you. One age day. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 You can go. I want to have a word with Ono. Eh? Yes. You can go. You can go. Oh, my. Oh, my. Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Watch your step, man. Igwe, Igwe. Fully drunk. <laughs> but honestly, Your Highness, you can talk sense sometimes. Oh yes, sometimes I agree with you. I do agree. Um, oh no, something I need to know. This man they call Mazi Onora. Oh, oh Mazi Onora, the one that returned from the north. Yes. Does he have grown-up kids? Mature kids? Boys and girls? You know. Um, Your Majesty, Honestly, I don't know. Because he, 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 he doesn't come out, he doesn't mingle with people. I personally, I regard him as an introvert. Oh, well, I need you to know more. You would have to do the legwork and get back to me. I also want to know if he's benefited from the Kimba Scare Initiative. It's all right, Your Majesty. Uh, Consider it done. I also need to know if he has a grown-up daughter called Miriyoma. I will consider it done as well. I will do, I will do just that. Oh no, I am quite curious. I... You were asking about my daughter? Yes. Actually, it is the king. Igwe Ikemba. He has been wondering uh, if you and your family have actually benefited from the Ikemba Care Initiative. Yes. Uh, you know, you just returned from the north. Okay. And um, <clears throat> he is, uh, in fact, he, he has just remembered you. He has opened your page. Yes, and um, he wants to extend his kindness, his assistance to your family. So he wants to know if you have children. <laughs> if I have children? Yes. But you, oh no, of all people, you ought to have known that I have a daughter. Eh? As a matter of fact, I had three children. Eh? A daughter, that's a minimum, and two sons. But those two sons, they died about four years ago. Yes, I remember. Sorry about that. I remember you once told me about your two sons who died some years ago as a result of uh, maybe kidney problem. Or yes, something. renal problem. I, I, I told you and I, I, that it, it, I probably told you that it remains uh, that girl, Miriam. Yes, Miriam. Yes, Miriam. Yes. We have not been seeing her. Where is that Miroma? We have not been seeing her in this kingdom. Where is she? Anyway, she hardly stays in this kingdom. And um, she had just concluded her master's uh, degree course. And um, she's trying to see whether she can secure lecturing job in our state uh, university. Wow, this is great. Uh, she, is, she is indeed renowned. 
Hey, if you say so. Ah! <laughs> wow! Um, you should be proud of her, having such daughter in your family. Mm -hmm. You should be to, so to, proud. To say I'm proud is an, <laughs> an understatement. We are elated <laughs> about her. <laughs> mm. uh, it's all right. Uh, it's okay. Um, let me ask you this simple question. Uh, um, in case Igwe came back, would want to help your family. In which aspect would you like him to do that? Mm, uh, none, none at all. Huh? Yes, none. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm living comfortably with my family, and uh, you're okay. You're okay. Uh, on the other hand, I would like to advise Igwe Kemba to continue doing the good work which he has been doing. Eh? Hmm. Let him not relent, no matter what. Eh? Hmm. Uh, on a second remote thought, if there is a help which I would have liked him to render to us is for him to bring back our two late sons, which I know it is impossible. <laughs> so uh, that is the need uh, I would no, have liked him to help, but it's impossible. Uh, you know, of course, that is very, very impossible. You know that. Mm. Uh, it's all right. Otherwise, now. we are very comfortable. Okay. Uh, I have to be on my way now. Yeah, let me take the message to the king. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. My, my regards to him. Um, it's all right. It's your know, you are a good man indeed. Mm. Uh, just the way people talk about you. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. I just have to be on my oh, way. Hey, oh no. Won't you stay so at least you can have something to eat? No, thank you. Thank you. No, don't worry about the food. We'll eat some other time. Mm. Yes. It's all right. Let's. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see him off, my dear. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Like I said, you mm. honestly, you are a good man. His Majesty. Me, I, I, I need that help. I want the help. See my daughter. She needs that job too. Why is my husband always like this? Always claiming to have it all. He, do, he, do, he doesn't have anything. What, what kind of a man is this? So, Papa, you mean you know who said His Majesty wants to help us? Yes, so. That is not what he said. His Majesty is simply trying to know whether we have benefited from his initiative, period. That is exactly what I just said. But you put it in a different language. In other words, you are paraphrasing it. Um, so, Papa, what was your response? Your father said that we do not need any help. Imagine that. Imagine what? Imagine what? What are you trying to say? Eh? That I am not taking good care of my family or what? But we cannot turn down a harmless help from the king. Who has been helping people in this village? Harmless help for those who actually need it. Are you hearing me, my daughter? For those who actually need it. But your mother, you, what exactly, what help do you want? Eh? Or are you saying that I'm not taking good care of my family and you inclusive? <sighs> but this is strange. It's not strange, anything. His Highness simply want to know if we are all right. That's one of the hallmarks, one of the characteristics of good kings of his ilk. But our daughter here is looking for a job in the state university. Don't you think that the king can help in this regard? I mean, sometimes you made me, you, you made me laugh. Eh? Because of your 
poor iron childish way of reasoning. Eh? Come to think of it, His Majesty is neither the VC of the school nor commissioner for education or anything related to that. How do you expect him to get about doing that? My husband, with his power, fame and money, he can do this. <laughs> he can secure this job for our daughter. My dear wife, I can see you are dwelling in a cloud cuckoo land. The earlier you come down, the better. Okay? I don't see any cuckoo land here. I know that the king can do it. Just let us give it a chance. Eh? Well. Cuckoo land, cuckoo land. <laughs> Honey, yes, baby. I think your mother is right. Really? Yeah, she's right. You see, the white lion, your king, is wealthy. Very wealthy and highly influential. People do get state government jobs from him, and even private sector jobs from him, just by his recommendation. So, there's no harm in trial. Let's give this a try. So, what are you suggesting? Is it, I am suggesting you. No, I'm not even suggesting. Listen. Go straight to him. Tell him your challenges, your plights. He never can tell. He might be of help to us. I think you're making a point. Of course. I made a point. A very good one at that. Are you avoiding me? I can't. 
can do anything. In fact, I can even take a bullet for you. I can sacrifice anything just to make me charming and adorable king happy. But you must do one thing for me. Do not make me sad anymore. I need a man like you. I need a man like you in my life. Just make me your queen already. My lord. You don't love me. I do. Of course I do. I swear by the gods. Yeah. Do not use the name of the gods to color your lies. Tell me. Anything you want me to do. To prove my love for you. I will do it. And that would be you leaving me alone. The truth. I am not here on a mission. I am not here because of my father. Of course not. You wish you're not. No, 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 I'm not. I am here because I love and adore you. My precious, precious king. You know what they say? When you tell a lie for too long, you begin to believe it as the truth. I see that you have lied to yourself that you love me. And you're beginning to believe it. But I cannot lie to you, my friend. I dare say. Come on. I, I cannot lie to you. I dare say. My king. I have enormous respect for your father, Igwo Kaka. And that is why I've not asked the guards to come in here. I'll throw you out. Please, respect yourself and leave. But you don't have to blame me. I feel so much warmer. Would you rise and leave? How do I call the guards? You have a choice to make. I will go, but I will be back, my lord. Amaka, are you serious? Uju, I almost peed on my pants. Hey. It never worked, never. I have never been this humiliated in my entire life. Hey. Are you telling me that those eyes that he was gazing at you did not work? It never worked. Hmm. I thought he was falling for it. The next, he ordered me out of his chambers. I will never, I mean, I will never dress so stupidly again. Hi. Hey. I think he's the princess that is causing all this nonsense. No, I swear, she's not. The princess herself is at where he's not. Hmm. I've monitored them closely. So all her antics, none is working for her. None. Hey. Jesus Christ. So I must tell you, if you have any plan or you are intending to get his majesty to notice you, would you just cancel it? Because your own, I'm telling you, your own, I mean yours, might be a very dirty slap. I'm leaving. Leave now, leave. Look at you. Go, 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 go. I don't even need people like you in this palace. You are, you are confusing my brain. I will not give up. I will not give up. I will keep fighting. I will fight. The initiative. But he's not bothered. He's so comfortable with the wonderful work you are doing in the community. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, when you got to that house, 
Did you see the girl in question? Did you talk to her? I actually, I, I, I did not, Your Majesty. Hmm. I see. I see. Uh, there is something interesting about that girl. Something different, something unique. Oh no. <laughs> uh, you'll not understand. Uh, it's okay. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> May the gods guide our path. Mediama. She keeps appearing to me in my dreams. Mediama. has come to a point where I got to see her. But what do I do? Do I send for her to be brought to the palace? Or do I just go to her parents' place? appeared one time too many and it is time that I get to see you in the physical. is here to see you. I'll be out in a moment. As it pleases you. Generous King Guy Ochidonyo Bonye de Noa Ifo Kelly Noa Konanya Ebele Bonama Nebe Igui Kemawa White lion, nigga, oh, yeah, my lady, see for me, Sally, Sally, a chef, 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 a Your Majesty, you know my name? Yes. I know your name. How are you? I am fine, Your Majesty. Thank you for honoring me, for giving me the privilege to stand in your sight. And you are welcome. Would you like something to eat, to drink, anything at all? No, no. Thank you so much. You're fine? Yes, ma'am. Of course I can see that you're fine. Please sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. my palace. Please, feel free to tell me what brings you to the palace. Your Majesty, I am a graduate of mass communication. I graduated from the University of Jos, came out to the first class. I also did my master's in the Bauchi State University. I have master's 
in investigative journalism and linguistics. But I want to become a lecturer in the State University and there is no headway. You want to be a lecturer? Yes, Your Majesty. The State University. Consider it done. <laughs> One second. Ejike! Ejike! Uh, let me have my mobile phone. So sweet. You're so sweet. Yeah, what do you what do you want? Tell me what you want, I'll give it to you. Hold on, girl. Let me take this important call. Hello, Your Highness. Prof, Prof. <laughs> Professor Akindele, my man. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I am fine. I'm fine. May you live long, sir. May you live long, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you wouldn't blame me. The demands of royalty can be overwhelming sometimes. And I just um, find that I'm missing an action. <laughs> and how is your head? How is your family? Good. And let me take this time, Prof, to thank you one more time for the gifts you sent across during my birthday celebration. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. <laughs> ah, Prof, I know that um, you won't work. So I'll just get straight to it. Oh yes, I have a young friend of mine here with me. Um, she wants um, a job as an academic staff at your institute. Yes, please. Lecturing, yes. Mass communication. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Prof, <laughs> this one is very dear to me. Oh, I can send her over to see you today. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Oh, she'll come see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, it is done, my dear. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Oh, it's not for please, 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 please. Thank you so much, my king. It's nothing. Thank you. It's nothing. Hey, Jacob. Your Majesty. I want you to take her one of the royal cars to her destination. She has an appointment. The vice chancellor. Huh? When she's done, you take her back to her house before you come back to the palace. Am I clear? Yes, please. All right, get the car ready. Um, Your Majesty, isn't that so much? It's fine. I can get a cab or I'll trek. Idioma, nothing is too much for you. You already have the job. The meeting is just a formality. Huh? Thank you so much, my king. You get on the job. You do it for a while. You tell me how you feel. And if at some point you don't like it anymore there, let me know. I'm going to build you a university and make you the vice chancellor. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on. All the best. 
I was waiting for you. Thank you, Majesty. All of us. Who is that girl? My princess, which particular girl are you talking about? The girl that was with the king. The particular girl that just left with the chief guard a few minutes ago. Oh, my princess, I don't know anything about her. I know nothing about her. Get me her details before night falls. As it pleases you, my princess. You may go. Thank you. <laughs> a lecturer. He is already in love with the girl. <laughs> he even wants to build a university and make her the vice chancellor. <laughs> what an amazing offer. <laughs> My mission here must be accomplished. Uh, honey, my car, my car, my car broke down. It's not the mechanic of a guy, huh? He keeps collecting money from me every now and then. I, I, I'm tired. He will end up not doing anything in the car. I... I've been calling him. His number is not connecting. Okay. All right, honey. I love you too, honey. All right. Okay, oh. Lord. I've been telling you to change this car. Change this car and go for a better one. But instead... You went and repented it to make it look as if it's a new one. But meanwhile, it's a very old car. Problem here and there. Today, overheating. Tomorrow, shock observer. Next tomorrow, plug. Change this car. What are you working one day? Ha! Kenna, I have noticed one thing. I don't know why. Is it that? You see, poor people. Poor people, they have bad mouth. Guy. <laughs> You've not been able to buy one tire in your life. You don't even know if you can buy one tire in the next year to come. It's a bad eh? In one, I specifically called you to be here. Please watch after this car. Let me go and see my mechanic. Okay? Yeah. His number has not been connecting since morning. Anamabia. Hmm? Anyagilu. Ngwan, how they come? Bia, 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 no, bia, bia, my ma. I quit for So, how much? I go to you. How much? For waiting. Oh, the vigilante now. <laughs> Get out. If I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I blow you, eh? See, you go change this thing now. Are they gone? Are they gone? Buy something now. I'm sorry for what happened. Very sorry. Huh? It's okay, sir. Thank you so much. Why didn't you tell me that you are related to Igwe Kemba? It wasn't necessary. My bad, anyway. I hope you did not tell him anything. No, not at all. You sure? <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I'm grateful. I beg to take my leave now. That's all right. Thank you so much. Be 
this has so many um, bad, bad ones in it. I don't think I'm going to add, uh, let me make it a complete diet. You add a, a plantain for iron, uh, this thing is protein now, then you yam for carbohydrates. I'm saying that it has so much spoiled ones. I don't know what they sell these days. Hey, of course. I'll put uh, well, you in. Well, the quantity of those that are bad is quite the best one. And it's great to eat it. You have to decide if it's plantain. Is it normal? Eh? Is it normal? Mommy, daddy, good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Mommy, daddy. Yes. I am now a lecturer. <laughs> How did that happen? How manage? Okay, I went to the palace to tell the king about my flight to the state university. Uh -huh. His Royal Majesty mm -hmm. called the Vice Chancellor right from his palace and informed him that I was coming right away. The very Vice <laughs> Chancellor that was dribbling you. Yes, you Papa. don't. You That's don't good. mean it. That's no. good. Hmm? And guess what? He asked the palace guards to go with me to the school. Hmm. Getting to the school, everything became stew. Whoa! <laughs> and the Vice Chancellor signed and approved my employment letter. Ozubo, Ozubo. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. So That's you are good. now a lecturer. Hey, so I can imagine that vice chancellor wearing long face and long mouth out of his nose. My daughter is not. Stop! Hey. 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 Mama lecturer, mama lecturer, mama lecturer, mama lecturer. Mama, I'm so happy. Hey. Hey. Finally. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you, God. My son. Without being told, you are fond of her. And who do you speak of? <laughs> I have never seen you treat any of your subjects the way. You treated her, especially my gender. I chose to. And I love what I did. I see. So tell me. What made you do it, huh? I mean, a royal car? A convoy? And your special guard? Like I said before, I chose to. But you dare to ask me, the king, why I did what I did. She has taken a special place in your heart. I see it written all over your face. And you are not far from the truth. Hmm. I don't think you can win her heart. Adesi, I am constantly amazed at your level of brevity and confidence to question my authority here in my palace, even as the king. And I ask you, here and today, are you beginning to take my hospitality? For granted. I am only speaking what is in my heart, dear King. It pleases my heart to know that you still recognize me as your King. However, I tell you here and now, Adesi, that at the end of your days in this palace is near. I do not desire to ask that you leave, but I will ask that you stop making a fool of yourself, that is. Bridle your tongue, for the might.
love you. I love you too, my golden jewel. I have vowed that nothing will ever take me away from you. Same here. It's just yesterday. You toiled, suffered, gave you all, sacrificed hugely for me to be where I am today. I owe my life to you. We will be getting married very soon. I am glad you never disappointed me. I am carrying a part of you. I will never disappoint you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for standing strong by me. You and my parents are my hero. That's okay. I just can't thank you enough. I yeah, understand. That was in the past. The future is ours. You and I. Welcome to your dream, the most beautiful creation I've ever seen in my entire life. I always love you. Sleepless nights. Oh God, she is the epitome of beauty. She's like the bright morning star graced with intelligence and beautified with compassion and love. Oh, I'm so restless. For a king needs a queen, and I think that I have found. Married to my woman. What could be the meaning of this dream? Does it mean that King Ikemba, the white lion, wants to take my woman away from me? My gold, the only thing that I have. No. I like you. Can we be friends? I'm sorry. I do not keep friends. I see. Do you know who my father is? Igwe Okaka. My father crowned. Your king, Ikema. Are you aware of that particular history? 
Oh yes, Princess. And yet, you don't want to be friends with the daughter of a famous king. Hmm? Like I said, I do not keep friends. I mean, we're your friends. <laughs> Wash your words so your mouth will not get into trouble. That will be all for now. Mary, Biko, who is that girl? Uh, and uh, what does she want? Uh, Mama, this lady did not make a single point here. Hold on, Mioma. Do you mean she left the palace and came all the way to your house to ask you to be her friend? Palace. Princess. the palace guards came here and drove off with her. He said that the uh, white lion wants to see her. The white lion wants to see her? Mm. I was here and they, he came. The two of them left. <coughs> okay, I... I will call her on the phone then. Uh, no problem. Call her. Call her. Yes. Well, you have to be on our way now. Mm, okay. Okay. Thank mm. you, ma. Bye-bye. Why would the king be sending for your girl to come to the palace? Should we pay him a visit? Pay him a visit for what? Some for what? For your girl, of course! Or are you afraid of the king? Look, all I'm saying is that let your heart not be troubled. You can, uh, my very good friend. My heart is not troubled. Alright? Thanks for your concern, all the same. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Come. Are you, are you sure about this? Absolutely. Me? It's okay. Listen, listen. Should we just pay him a visit? Mm. Don't bother about the visit. It is not necessary. Why is her number switched off? This is unlike her. I, I don't want to have any negative thought or feeling. See, what I'm about to tell you now is very important. The next time 
you visit me in school. Try your best and get her pregnant. Yes. Ikenna, have you lost it? What kind of stupid advice is this, Ikenna? Have you lost it? Don't, 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 don't ever in your life make this kind of comment again. Please. Calm down now. Have I said anything wrong? How, listen, listen, I'm looking out for you as my friend. I know what I'm saying. See, I don't want your property to turn to another man's property. Hey, if not me. Ah, I don't give this girl the lesson. Straight up. No time. Unfortunately for you, it cannot no be your girl, it be not my girl. Thanks for your advice, but please keep it to yourself. How do you expect me to get a fine IA student pregnant? Just because I want to scare her away from other men. Are you stupid? Have you lost it or what? I know what I'm saying. God is helping you now. You are feeling it by your power. You see, all these Chiwakon boys, when they see that girl, they will take her away from you. All your suffering, all your sweat, you have just wasted your time. Kenna, listen and listen to your God. Thanks for your advice. But I want to let you know that Miriam and I are bonded by the love that no one can break. Nobody would love herself so much, we come a long way. Miriam that I know can never in her entire life leave me for any other man in this life. I, Obina, will not get her pregnant. I will wait for her because she will never, ever in her entire life disappoint me. You know what? I love Miriam so much. Oh God, this is frustrating. You're glowing. I see that life is treating you well. Uh, let me just ask for formality. How are you enjoying your, your new job? Very well, Your Majesty. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Uh, it's, it's glaring that you find satisfaction doing what you have always wanted to do. I mean, really, that's what life is about. You know, fulfillment. Uh, you wake up every morning to something that you look forward to. Your Majesty, thank you so much for everything. I really do appreciate it. This is only the beginning. You're welcome. Anytime. By the way, I have a very close friend of mine I'd like to go visit tomorrow. And I was thinking that you... It would be nice if you accompany me, you know. It's okay. It's fine. I understand. If you can't make it, it's fine. I actually. No, 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 Your Majesty. I am just surprised. I will go with you. Oh, okay. That would be nice. I thought that you didn't want to be seen in public with your king. <laughs> your Majesty. Oh, uh? <laughs> Mali Changwa. Look like you're shy. 
you cannot even look at your king straight in the eye. Huh? Look at your king. Where are you coming from? From the palace. The Igwe sent for me. I'm sorry, I tried calling you, but you weren't taking your calls. Why was your phone switched off? I had a flat battery. I got home and Mama told me you came to the house with Ikenna. Yes, we came to the house. <sighs> Have you had something to eat? You don't look happy. Okay, I'll just go prepare something for you quickly. Don't bother. I'm going out to share my car. How did you find this place? And why are you trailing me? You recall, I once told you to choose your words very, very carefully, right? You recall telling me that you don't make royal friends, huh? <laughs> but right now, you are gradually falling in love with a king. So you want to tell me that you will be so ungrateful to Obina, your taxi driver lover. After all he has done for you. After all his sacrifice. Are you that mean? Are you? Point of correction, my princess. I am not falling in love with the king. Oh, please. And about my relationship with Obina, it shouldn't be a headache to you. Why are you digging deep about me? I am curious, you know. Time shall tell. Is that not the princess of Azoka Kingdom? The daughter of Yugu Akaka? What did she come here to do? I don't know. She started stalking recently. Stalking you? Why? What for? I don't know. She's trying to cajole me into becoming friends with her. <laughs> friends with her? Why? I really do not know. But let's just forget about her. So tell me, how did your day go? Perfectly well. It is a bit stressful, but I'm good. Yeah. I made you something. Mm. Something sweet as you, right? <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Just tell me and I will not disobey you. No, 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 I'm not stopping you from going to the palace to see the king. You know, as a matter of fact, people go there to, to, to see him for one reason or the other. Hmm? And I remember he helped in, you know, securing you had me uh, work with the State University. Hmm? 
But if you're not comfortable with it, I can stop. I'll quit. No, no, don't quit, please. You, you visit any time you want to visit, okay? Now, feel free. Are you sure you're okay? Of course. Very sure. Me. Igwe said I should accompany him somewhere tomorrow. Eh? Yeah, I mean, the king wants me to go somewhere with him tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You, you, you can go with him. Yeah. Should I go? Eh? I mean, are you comfortable with it? Sh should I go with him? Uh, yes, I am. I'm very comfortable. How is your new friend? The lecturer. She's fine, thank you. Mm. I see. For royalty. How dare you try to poison the king's drink? What? Shut up! My king, this girl dropped a love potion into your drink. I saw her! I don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. Handless question. Yes, go ahead. What is Princess doing in our palace? What is she doing here? After all, our king has chosen for himself a wife to be. So, what business does she have in the palace? You that princess self. She is there for a business purpose. You mean it? Yes. She has a purpose. She has a target. Her, hey. her father planted her in the palace so she can seduce our king 
for him to succumb to giving out our oil without them paying the adequate compensation. Oh, yeah. ah. oh, yeah, that is it. Oh, yeah, uh, but but the, th the truth is that the king refused. He categorically said no. Because he knows the negative effect it will have on our people in the future. Hmm. Yes. Oh, well. uh, he <laughs> said, but eventually he changes his mind. Oh, they have to assure him of a safer place. A safer heaven. In other words, they have to make a better place for our people. Which means we will be having two kingdoms. You mean what you are saying? That is the impossible. Way. Impossible. Me living this our land, Omame. You see? Have you seen it? Igwe Okaka refused to comply with the demands of our king. Believing that planting his daughter in our palace will make an impact. Hmm. That's a rant nonsense. So, it will um, not happen. That is it. What, no. we, what we were saying before. Yes. You see, in a kingdom where you have wise, intelligent, peaceful men. Yes. You don't allow certain things to. How can your friend put love potion in his majesty's juice? Is she out of her mind? Hey. She thinks this, these palace guards are just here to be watching. They are spiritually inclined. And even if you enter this palace today with a gun to assassinate His Majesty, it will not make any impact at all. Yes. Some people need to ask questions. Like I don't understand. She's the only one crushing and desiring to be queen. I don't know. See, me in my mind, I'm a queen already. In fact, I see myself sleeping in the Igwe's chamber every night. <clears throat> but I dare not say it. Because if I try it, I'm dead. Like she went too far. Seriously. We are all crushing on the king. But your friend went too far. She really did. She just went too far. Uju, I warned her. Hmm. I told her not to try anything funny. Hmm. But look where her desperation has gotten her. Going look at see. the way she was disgraced out of the palace. Hmm. Can you imagine the humiliation? Oh my God. Would you why? It's okay. Would you why now? It's okay. I know she's your friend. It's okay. Will I lose my fiancé? Every woman's desire is to get married to the king of the kingdom. Should I stop my fiancé from visiting the palace? Or should I stop trusting her? Will be nothing. Think. Oh. I think I have to do the needful. To get married, I have to get married to to Mirama, my love. Yes, but am I really ready for marriage now? Oh. Besides, everyone knows Obina and I are meant to be together. Yes, but there is a but. I just hope that everything goes as planned. If the king said that you should go somewhere with him, you go now. Is that not a huge privilege? 
Yes, it is. After all your brain cracking and mental exercise, let me make it clear to you that you cannot convince our daughter otherwise. So be careful, woman. Have I? Be said, careful! I've not said anything wrong here. I have told you. Be careful. <sighs> Mr. Noah. Our Igwe, His Majesty, the White Lion himself, Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> asked me, the owner of this kingdom, to come and present this car to you. Uh, frankly, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, what, what this car is for. Huh? What have I done to deserve the car? I mean, everything which is done in life, every goodwill is based on a, a quid pro quo, give and take. What have I done to deserve the car? My brother, Igwe Ikemba has declared his interest in making your daughter, Miriamwa, his queen. Yes. You are taking care of my house. And I fell in love with you instantly. And since then, I have prayed that you come my way. It was here that I, I saw you and I knew your name, Miriamma. I want you. I want to build an empire with you. I want my world to revolve around you and your world to revolve around me. I want to be your king. I want you to be my queen. I want to give you my word and put it in the palm of your arms right now. I belong to a man, my lord. I revolve around his world. He is my king, and I am his queen. I want to remain in his kingdom. I am sorry if my words hurt you, my lord. I have never seen such boldness. Forgive me, my lord. You have a man, you say? Honestly, my lord. Oh, I should have known. I should have known that nothing good comes easy. And when you have something really, really good, you hold it close to your heart. You are a good king, my lord. To the best of my knowledge, my daughter Miriamma has an inamorato in a young man called Obinna. They have been courting for some years now, so I'm not taking the car. As for the issue of becoming an in-law to Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> I, I am sorry. I, I really am sorry. 
I'll, I'll know you know exactly where I am driving at. I'm sorry. I can't take the car. Well, uh, Mr. Onoa, the truth is that our king, the white lion, uh, needs a queen. We know you. We know you as a disciplined man, principled man, and all that. But our king, the king of this kingdom, needs a queen. Of course. And, and he has found your daughter worthy of being the woman after his heart. So, as we speak, they are on a date. With due respect to no, that is not true. I know my daughter. The person you are talking about is not my daughter. I mean, you have to cross-check your fact very well before making this kind of heavy statement. Mr. So Noha, we have checked, we are sure of what we are telling you. I know Miriamma very well. There are not two in this kingdom. She is the only female lecturer this kingdom has ever produced. We know her too well. Yes. And, uh, and uh, the king is very sure of what he is saying. Yes, we all know her too well. And uh, except you want to uh, let us know that you are not interested in becoming part of the goodies about to happen in your family. Um, we have spoken at length. The, the, pre, the peroration is that um, I want to speak with my daughter. Yes, I want to speak with her when she comes back. It's not that I don't like the idea of being an in-law to Igwe Ikemba. But common sense demands that I speak with my daughter and know her mind. After all, I'm not the one who is going to marry. But until then, I'm not accepting the car. I think that's all for it today. You are not going to wear this long face here. Whether you wear it or not, of course, it's not going to change anything. You know I'm not going to support it. Nowhere. Queen or no queen, I'm not a part of it. All I know is Obinna. Yes, Obinna. If Obinna comes to me now and says he is done with our daughter, and I tried my possible best to settle the rift and it didn't work. There's a time I will think otherwise. So you better call your daughter now and tell her that I, the father, wants to see her. Did I say a word here? Did I utter one word here? Hmm. You don't have to utter a word before I understand that you are boiling inside. Am I no longer your husband? How do you know that I'm boiling? How? You are boiling inside, woman. If you, if you were not sitting there, I would have ordered you to go and sit down. Look, let's face it. Every woman will want her daughter to be a queen. Now, what I want you to know is that a queen doesn't necessarily need to be married into a palace. If any man is at peace with his woman. Be he a rich man, poor man, old, young, royalty, etc. That man is married to a queen. As it is now, you are my queen. And I am your king. Forget about royalty. So that is the education. You have to inculcate into the skull of our daughter. Eh? Forget about material. Don't be carried away by it. Of course, you know I'm not going to support it. But I'm not going to support please, it. Please, please, I've had enough. The king. Look at her. Simply because I did not accept 
a car gift, which to me I know is a bribe from His Royal Highness, He Wei Kemba. Now you are keeping your face as if you had a head on collision with a trailer. Rubbish. Obi, what is wrong with the car again? Honey, honestly, I do not know. The car just packed me up here. <sighs> again? Again, yes. Have you called the mechanic? I called him. He said he's on his way coming, so I'm waiting for him. Okay, let's wait for him together then. Eh? Yes, now. And what about the king? Both of you are coming back from somewhere. Please, go and join. We'll see you later, please. Obim, the king knows I am here with you. I can't go back to him. You're under the sun alone. I have to be here with you now. Please, I don't want troubles. I don't want trouble. Please, I'm begging you. Go back to him. It please. doesn't matter. I will wait. Um, greetings. Is Anesis still waiting for you, Niska? He asked you to come with me. Why the meeting was adjourned because we were all there. I mean, none of you, none of you, because we were all there. His Majesty is really troubled, and my suggestion is that we should give him a break today or for all day. Are there we fix to meet and finalize concerning the oil discovered on our land? Finalize what? Finalize what? Don't shout on me like that, Mokem. Ichi Ojiofo, what are you finalizing? The king has made his stand known, ab initio, on this matter, with clarity that the matter is over. So why are you bringing it up? What clarity are you talking about? I wonder. I'm asking you. What clarity? Listen. Ichi Okeke, the king has made his mind known in this matter. And we are not ready to go against our king. Yes. We can't disobey our king. Because the man is a visionary. We can't disobey him. Yes. So you mean we cannot look into it again, eh? Yes, Bam. We cannot. Bam. That's what you are saying, Ichi of Fondo. Final. Okay. Since we cannot look into it again, it's okay. No problem. Ojafo. We should all be bothered about our king's unhappiness. Yes. We all saw what happened. His mood. Are you not surprised? So we should be bothered. And again, about all this cold pandemonium and all that. What for? What for? Why? Why all this? Oh no. Yes. We are bothered about the king's mood. Yes. We should also be bothered about the matter of the crude oil discovered on our land. Uh -huh. So the matter has to be brought back. You are totally confused. I'll tell you this. Don't you know I'm going to have a choke? Now, what is it? I'm going to have a choke. No. No. Same man runs after a rat while his house is on fire. Honestly. 
Eh? You are totally confused. Is it not the same you that was supporting the king? All of you were actually happy that the king has made a fantastic point. Honestly. Then all of a sudden you change like a chameleon. Why the sudden change of mind? Why? And then bringing back a matter that was discussed, concluded, sealed during a meeting concerning our community development. Yes. Why bringing it back? Why? But we also have facts to present. Which fact? Quiet! No, no, why you keep quiet, everybody? Quiet! This matter is closed. It's over. And this kind of meeting will never hold again. Either in the palace or here or anywhere. It is over. I am not satisfied. We will not relent on this. Yes. We have to. We have oil. We have lots of oil in this land. We are richly blessed with these natural resources. No! Akunawa, we must revolt. We have to. Uh, All right. Let us see Igwe Okaka first. Yes, because his daughter is failing us by not getting our Igwe to bed to turn his head in our favor. So that we can lay our hands on what we need. Yes. Though I quite agree that uh, the white lion has been trying, but there's every need for him to up, to up the stage. Yes, upgrade. We cannot be blessed farmers and still be eating our, our farm products with a common crab. Eh? Now, if you buy a jeep, is there anything wrong? Uh, I need it. I need jeep. If you should build another duplex in addition to your house, will you die? At all. I, I'm, very, I'm very sure that if I should marry another two wives, there's nothing wrong. Or uh, even if you marry extra four, there's nothing wrong. Let us see Igwakaka first. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You have, you have a good point. Oh, let let's go. go. Let's yeah. go and see Igwakaka. <laughs> elder among elders. <laughs> I am not getting married to Igwe Kimba. Who is talking about that? How? I thank you so much for saying that. In fact, I am highly impressed. So, what are you doing? A friend. A friend? Like, you are befriending our Igwe. How? Yes, Mama. Igwe Kimba and I are just platonic friends. And that's it. How can anyone think that Igwe wants to make me his queen? Obina is the love of my life and everyone knows that. Yes, we do. We do. I know it. Eh? I said it. I said it. I know my daughter very well. Eh? Now, have you had it, woman? Have you had it? I've heard it. Papa, what's wrong with Mama? Don't mind your mother. Onowu and one elder came here with a car. They told me that Igwe Kemba dashed me a car and wants to make you his queen. I told them to go back with the car until I talked to my daughter. I'm satisfied now that I've heard from you. Don't mind your mother. You know, I have always told you to follow your mind. I have never been this heartbroken and dismayed, even as a king. My heart almost stopped beating. When Miriam told me that she has a man. Not just a man. But that you are the love of her life. Young man, where are you from? I am from the Ikenga Kingdom. A king, kingdom has benefited from my benevolence and kind-heartedness. Over the years, I am sure that you are aware of it. Yes, yes my lord, I am, I am aware of it. What is your name, young man? My, my name is Ovinda. Ovinda. 
Robina. I am trying very hard. Very hard. Not to be like King David in the Bible. Who had so many women but chose to take the life of Uriah because of his beautiful wife. Bathsheba. You know the story of the Bible, don't you? Yes, my lord, I, yeah, yeah. I know the story. I am going to give you the sum of 1.5 million US dollars. A house in London. All I ask, my friend, is that you go tell him, Miriamma, that whatever has a beginning must come to an end at some point, and that your heart has stopped beating for her, that she should allow her heart beat for me. I do not think that I've asked for too much, have I? No, 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 my lord. You, you didn't. You didn't ask for too much. Good boy. Run along. Thank you.
Everyone's life May your days be long 